What's up guys? How you doing? So, uh, I'm in Iceland, right? I've been sent here to learn some, uh, well, kind of learn some important skills, some survival skills, thanks to the guys over at Capcom. I'm gonna go and uh, learn how to survive in the Horfrost Reach, but I'm also here to try and uh, teach some, some new players, you know, some important skills so that they don't get completely and utterly slapped by what is, uh, what is about to uh, face them in Iceborne. So, I'm gonna head up that glacier, climb up there, you know, Try not to fall down some crevices. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be completely cool. I, I know what I'm doing. You know, I've, I've, I've spent some time in Hawfrost Reach. I feel like I'm, I'm pretty well acclimatized. But either way, that's the plan. Going to go up the glacier, climb some stuff, upsell down some things, and basically just uh, learn how to be a good hunter. <laughs> So you can, if yeah. you're really keen about the climbing, climbing boots, they make a big difference because they're super stiff. You kick the ice and you actually get the spikes inside the ice, biting the ice. Yeah. The home of one of the most dangerous volcanoes of Iceland, which is called Katla. This Katla, guys, it is hidden underneath the ice cap. And the crater, it's covered by a layer of ice that goes from 700 to 1,000 meters. How is that possible? Because on the top of the mountain, we have a caldera, which is a big bowl, basically. On the bottom of this bowl, we have a huge crater, crater of Katla, that could easily swallow the whole city of Reykjavik, so it's a huge one. And basically, um, this big bowl, this caldera, got filled by snow. And the snow, under its own pressure, turned into glacier ice. And that's how we got this huge ice cap. Crampons on, helmet on, pickaxe ready, let's do this. Finished teaching these guys how to mine for mine for valuable ore because obviously when you got new gear you're going to need that ore to be able to do that crafting. So this is a very important thing when you go hunting, no matter where you go. But in the whole frost reach, there's new minerals to gather, so keep that in mind. Like this. So as far as you can get above your head. One, two. And now we make five short steps. One, two, we gain some surface. Three and four, we get to that good position with wide feet at the same height. And now as you can see, I'm using my arms a lot. So the fifth movement would be you pushing your waist against the ice and leaning back with your shoulders. And this is your resting position. You don't need your arms. You see, I'm resting my arms and I'm ready to look where I'm going to swing, moving my axis further up, one, two, and now I lean back and I go to five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Currently, Bife is learning to be able to climb the walls so that when we uh, eventually need to get to the higher parts of, of Horfrost Reach and, uh, you know, Let's try. go and find the minerals and whatnot, then, then he can climb. So, well, <laughs> so now, now I'll do it in a minute. But yeah, I'm going to keep that in. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. But yeah, now Rage is going to do it. Let's see, let's see how let's see how Rage is. Is he a master hunter? Yeah, very good. Now, lean against the ice with your waist. Exactly. And you lean back with your shoulders. So basically you stay like this. Look at me. Basically like this. Up on the glacier, up on the whoa! I actually yeah. see some of the ice now, which is uh, 
kind of cool off all the volcanic stuff done some climbing practice now i want to go and use those uh use those skills how you think you're a figure to fair just leave me behind just leave me behind <laughs> i can't I just, I just leave me no hunter is ever left behind <laughs> never leave you okay, okay. so uh, every eruption and every volcano uh, is different and um, the ash that came from the famous 2010 Eia Fiat eruption it's this one it's extremely thin and when it's wet it really looks like clay uh, apparently this is now a very um, good cosmetic and this is gonna be for us today our wall paint I'm ready to find anything now! So now that we've done the crown form practice, the walking practice, the little climbing practice, it's time to actually put that to the test. We're going to be lowered into, I think they call it a moulin, like basically this sort of crevice, crater kind of thing. We're going to get lowered into it and then climb back out. So, yo, I'm supposed to be the pro hunter in this setup. I'm going to be real with you guys. That way I'm a little bit, a little bit nervous about, but I feel like for the narrative of this, I'm going to have to man up and I'll have to be like, yo, let's do this. So, uh, we're going in. Oh, going in first. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> it's okay, I'm man. Scared. We'll be okay. It's okay. Don't worry. I'll do it. I'll show you. As your sensei, I'll, I'll do it. I believe. And then, and then, then you will I be. Believe. You'll do it after. He's got me. There we go. Let's go climb. <laughs> Woo! That's how you do it. Yeah! yeah. Woo! <laughs> it's how you do it! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! yeah. Woo! Always oh, yeah. remember your hot drinks. It's important when surviving to make sure you're hydrated. And sometimes when you're out in the wilderness, you need that fresh, icy water. <sighs> That's really good. This is, some of the, this is legitimately some of the best water that you'll get. I want some more. All right, so there we have it. That's pretty much it. That's a wrap on the uh, Iceland vlog. I want to say a massive thank you to Capcom for giving me the opportunity to go out to Iceland and uh, learn some skills that I can then apply in the Horfrost Reach. Now, do stay tuned. There will be a second video in this series where I'll be sitting down, actually playing some Iceborne, getting uh, getting the guys up to speed. Of course, me and Rage, we play a lot of Iceborne. Bife is a returning player. He played a fair bit of World, but then he kind of like, you know, fell to the wayside, didn't really play as much more recently so he's kind of getting back up to speed and then you've got a message of who is a complete beginner so in the next video we'll be getting them all up to speed getting them ready so they can start diving in facing some of the new challenges so uh, that video will be out this weekend stay tuned for it you don't want to miss it for the time being thanks for watching catch you guys next time